Okay, in, the vid in this video, we're gonna look at this following differential equation, y prime equals y over x. So this is obviously a separable differential equation, but as a order of practice for looking at series solutions for differential equations, we're gonna solve this using a series solution and see that we get the same thing that we would get for a separable differential equation. So, um, in other words, uh, let's set y equal to some arbitrary series, so we have the sum n equals zero to infinity of a sub n x to the n, and then since this is a first order differential equation, we need its first derivative as well, so this is the sum n equals zero to infinity of n a sub n x to the n minus one, but now notice the zeroth term doesn't matter because we have a multiple of n here, which n equals zero, that would cancel, so we can change this from zero to infinity to one to infinity. Okay, good. So this is our setup. We have these two uh, series, the y prime series and the y series, so now we're going to put them in this differential equation. In other words, for this to be a solution to this differential equation, we need the following uh, series equation to hold. So we need the sum n equals zero to infinity of a sub n x to the n to be equal to one over x. So I'll factor this one over x out, so it'll be one over x times y. Oh, and I just realized I need to put n n minus one, one here, because I'm writing a left-hand side of the equation, which is the second derivative. Good, and now here we have, this should be equal to the sum, n equals zero to infinity of a n x to the n. So let's see what I've got here. I've got y prime equals one over x times y, which is exactly my differential equation. Okay, so uh, now we're good to keep going. So let's see what we have. So uh, let's rewrite this as the sum n equals one to infinity of n a sub n x to the n minus one equals the sum n equals zero to infinity of, let's see, we have a sub n x to the n minus one. Okay, so now looking at these two series, in order to get a feel for them a little bit more carefully, let's write out a couple of terms, and so we can uh, look at what the equating of coefficients would look like. So on this left-hand side, we have a sub one, so that's the first term, plus two a sub two x, plus three a sub three x squared, and so on and so forth. Okay, good. And then on this right-hand side, we're going to have a sub zero over x plus a sub one plus a sub two x, and then so on and so forth. Well, maybe we'll write one more. So we have a sub three x squared, and then so on and so forth. So let's see what we get from equating coefficients. <clears throat> so first of all, let's see on the right-hand side of the equation, we have a one over x term. There's no such thing on the left-hand side of the equation. So that means that a sub zero equals zero. Great. And then again, on the right-hand side of the equation, we have a sub one is our constant term. A sub one is our constant term on the left-hand side of the equation. So we get a sub one equals a sub one. And now let's look at the x squared term. So here we have two a sub two equals a sub two. And then similarly, we have three a three equals a three, or in general, we have n a n equals a sub n. Okay, good. But notice that the, all of these equations right here imply that all of these values are equal to zero um, 
because the only number that is twice itself will be zero. The only number that's three times itself will be zero, and so on and so forth. So what this tells us is that this a uh, two equals a three equals everything which equals zero. In other words, a n equals zero for n bigger than or equal to two. Okay, good. So I'll erase this and we'll look at a summary. Okay, here's our solution. So if this power series y equals the sum from n equals zero to infinity of a sub n x to the n is a solution to this differential equation, y prime equals y over x, then all of the coefficients are equal to zero except the n equals one coefficient. So in other words, y collapses to the following, a sub one times x. So now I'll let you look at um, <clears throat> the separable solution to this differential equation, but the, you'll see that you get the same thing. So that is the end of this uh, example.